In this video, we're going to set up our technicians and service riders. We'll do the technicians first. To do this, we click Setup, then Codes, and Technicians. We'll come back to this section in a minute. Use Enable Technician Cost to more accurately track your labor profitability. Enable Time Tracking allows you to keep track of your technician's actual time on the job. There are reports to view this information. Click the link to see the support article. Enforce Time Tracking Password Check. If enabled, the user will be required to enter the password when editing technician's hours after the invoice has been created. Your password will remain visible after you click Update, so be sure to read the support article that covers Access Control, which allows you to require a password to make changes to this and other pages. To add a new technician, enter a code. This can be any combination of up to three letters or numbers. Enter the text name and their certification number if they have one or if it's required in your area. Enter the technician's hourly pay rate. This works in conjunction with the settings we chose earlier in the time and cost tracking area. If this technician performs inspections, such as emissions testing or safety inspections, check mark this box. Click Add to add them to your list. If a technician is no longer employed with us, we can deactivate them as opposed to deleting them completely from our database. This allows us to track the jobs performed by this technician when they were an active employee. To deactivate a technician, click the Edit icon. Then, uncheck the Active box and click Update. They are now removed from the list of active technicians. To view inactive technicians, click the Show Inactive Technicians box. This column will show which techs are active or inactive. To reactivate a technician, click Edit and check the Active box. Now we'll look at Service Riders. Click on the Service Riders link. Use the same process as before, code, then name, and click Add to add them to your list. If a technician also writes service, include them on this list. The active and inactive logic described in technicians is the same for service writers. In this video, we saw how to enter a technician's information and activate and deactivate them. We also looked at how to enter a service writer and described the process for deactivating them as well. Thanks for watching. For more information on this or any of Alldata's products, visit our support site at alldatasupport.com or call one of the numbers on your screen.